Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we will be on the legendary Avenger Miracle Worker Battle Cruiser, AKA the Inquiry. Yes, Captains, but before we get into this video, do us a huge favor, hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to our YouTube bridge where we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now with that said, here we go. Captains, yes, finally, we have an inquiry that has a good looking deflector. Now having said that, I know there are some captains that love the old deflector on this, which is totally fine. You still have that option, especially if you bought this ship, but we like this one better. But anyways, so what we're gonna do in this video is go over the build of what we did on this amazing ship. So the weapons, space set, consoles, stations, traits, and DOS, and then take it into an advanced cure and see how this does against the Berg. But yes, captains, we have been complaining since day one when we got the ship. Now, I still got the ship when it had that deflector. And I always kept saying that it looked great in any angle without the deflector. But now with this new deflector, bam, yes, it looks just right. And actually slimmed it down and it makes, to me, kind of looks more sleek and more imposing just for me, in my opinion. So we have been having so much fun on this ship and we decided to just go all out and see what we can actually do with it and see if this is indeed one of Starfleet's toughest, biggest, baddest ships that they have ever created, according to our good Captain Admiral slash Riker. So let's go over the build here. So again, as you can see there, the legendary Avenger Miracle Worker Battlecruiser USS Best Deflector. That's what I called it. So, so we'll just start off here, just get in right into this. So in the four weapons, this is what we did. So as you can see, Captains, we just went with a cannon scatter volley build or a cannon build. So we are gonna be using the overload linked phaser quad cannons. Now, with these cannons, it came with the ship. I haven't re really re-rolled it. I, I, I ran out of salvage, but that's not a big deal. It'll be re-rolled and it's still performing way better than I thought it would. So having said that, we wanted to use these of course because it came with the ship and i thought we we're gonna have some different visuals but no in my sort of tests with it trying to look at the cannons they look the same but something unique to these it says here beams right there in the description says beams overload counts as cannon rapid fire for this weapon so we do actually have that power slot here and if it does it great if it doesn't well in my mind it's working so there's that Eventually, we'll get that to DM damage three, but not now. We're going to get that later. Next up here, the Terran Task Force Phaser Dual Heavy Cannons. Of course, crit DM damage three. It is reruled to that. And of course, you can get that from your Terran rep. Had these two cannons here for the longest time. The Advanced Fleet Phaser Dual Heavy Cannons can reroll to crit DM damage four. And yes, because we have to have our torpedo on there, we might as well just use the Maelstrom Quantum Torpedo because one, it looks cool, and two, it sounds cool as well. And of course, we got that from the legendary Akira itself. So space set here. We have the Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector from your fleet colony. The prevailing innovative impulse engines from your competition rep. We're using this, the Elite Fleet Plasma Integrated Warp Core. We got this from the Fleet Spire years ago, years ago. And then we're just gonna use Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield from the Discovery Rep. And just rounding up our aft weapons here, we have the Trilithium Enhanced Phaser Turret. That of course is from the featured episode Nexus. Nothing wrong with that, gives us a chance for some haste. And then we just rolled it up with the advanced fleet phaser turrets there. Again, rerolls to damage to crit the DM. So there's that. And uh, yes, Caps, this is T6X2. So I didn't waste any time. Like I said, I upgrade the ships that I want to just push a little bit more, not only in looks, but also performance. 
device slots here. We got your Kobayashi Maru transponder for your buff goodness. The Temporal Negotiator to help with some cooldowns. Some energy candy for some bonus energy weapon damage for 20 seconds. And plus 30 Starship Shield Pen for 20 seconds. Subspace Field Modulator for some damage resistance rating. And some Deuterium Surplus for some zoom zooms. For our universal consoles and engineering consoles, well, yes, guess what we used? The Advanced Engineering Isomagnetic Plasma Distribution Manifolds, or ISOMAGs. For, of course, re-rolled to all phaser. This is the last set that I'll be doing for this account, but of course, Captain, you know me, I'm a Fetty Boy, so we had to do that. Next up, the Emulating Phaser Lance. And of course, this we actually just crafted, re-rolled ourselves and made and we actually got gifted two of these so huge shout out to actually scott thank you for starting us here and gifting us these two here and the rest was just us getting these ourselves and crafted next ambling phaser lines from your daneless pilot destroyer of course you can get that as your reward from the event campaign prize see there plus 15.8 phaser damage and 43.8 starship shield penetration and it looks like a Beam Overload. Really good looking one. Next one up, the Dynamic Power Redistributing Module from the Prototype, aka the Dr Prototype Dreadnought. Actually, I should say Atlas, I should say. Which again, you can get from your event campaign prize. Great clicky. Plus 11.3 all damage resistance rating. 19% directed energy damage. So that's a nice passive. But the clicky, bonus damage, bonus damage, resistance, and hull regen. For 20 seconds when you click that bad boy, plus 40% bonus damage when your hull is above 80%. Plus 100 bonus damage resistance rating, plus 500% hull regen. And yes, we are pairing it with one of my favorite things, the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead from the NX, any version of the NX. Plus 25% projectile damage, that'll help our lone Maelstrom Torpedo there. Gives us a cute 1% critical chance, but again, the two-piece of this will give us plus 33% phaser damage for directed energy, because why not? I like it. Next, M6 computer. This is from the tier three temporal escort. 15% bonus all damage for 15 seconds, plus 25% cooldown reduction for tactical bridge officer abilities, 20% fire cycle haste for all weapons for 15 seconds, and 30 act, 30 defense for 15 seconds. The little brother to the Big Boy Domino here, which comes from the Bajoran Interceptor, which you can get still from the epic tier of the Phoenix Prize Pack, if you are so fortunate to get that. Plus 15% phaser damage, plus 20 ACK rating as it passes. But what does it give you? Well, for 10 seconds, 25% fire cycle haste for energy weapons, plus 25% bonus all damage, plus 25% recharge speed for bridge officer ability. So that's all, not just the tactical, but all plus 100% recharge speed for torpedo weapons. If you defeat a foe while this is on, plus two seconds duration to all effects. So that is pretty cool. And of course it stacks up to 10 times. So to me, I cannot have a fed cruiser without beams. To me, this is still a cruiser and in Star Trek Online cruisers to me just have phaser beams. So we're gonna use this, the experimental power redirection. This comes from your Excel too which you can get, of course, from your event prize. 19.9% increased energy damage, 13.3 Starship weapon amplification improves critical hit severity. And it is literally just a beam overload faw symphony. It is awesome. So to sell for 15 seconds, 60% energy weapon damage scales with engine shield and aux power, swaps around in between beam overload three and fire at will. It's just sounds so good too along and it just looks good, especially with all the pew pew is happening, very good. And just to round it off, we just went with Lorca's custom fire controls. 3.9% critical chance, 7.9 weapon power setting, of course 157.5 Starship Shield pen. This comes from the Discovery rep. So what is our stats with this bad boy? 39.1% crit chance and 167% crit severity. Captains, keep in mind, I do actually have my Endeavor ranks head ranked up to 600. I can go 750. The reason why I'm not doing it is, well, it's not really required. It's nice to have, but 
at this point in time, I don't feel the need to. So we're just doing with what we have. But when the option, or when we want to, the option is there for us, and we will do that. So there is that for our skills. Nothing too different. Specialization is Intel primary and temporal secondary. Our skill points has not changed. It's not changed and probably will never change. So eight points spent in Eng, 10 in Psy, and 28 in TAC. Traits, this is what we got. We got a good day to die. Fragment of AI tech, anchored for superior cannon training, unconventional systems, intelligent agent attache, self-modulating fire, Terran targeting systems, adaptive offense, and of course the Boimler effect for Starship traits. And look at that. And this is kind of what I said in our last update video there, that with the Starship traits, this being T6X2 with an additional one of each, I feel like I can have much more flexibility and having more fun. And keep in mind, Captain, I'll say this right now, I forgot to say at the beginning of this build video, that this build I'm just sharing because this is the type of fun that we are having here in Star Trek Online. Like I said in the introduction there, we like to share our love and our passion here on the bridge. But with that said, going back to what I was saying, it's, I feel like I can just do a build that can have best of any weapon that I put on here, torpedo, cannon, beams, and just mix it up. You know, have a trait for the cannon, have a trait for the torpedo, have a trait for the beam, because I think that'll just make it a lot more interesting and fun for me, and possibly for you caps if that's how you like to play your space pew pews. So for Starship traits, of course, we're gonna use the Mercy weapon cycle, which came from the Avenger. Overpowered, overgunned. Supercharge weapons. The ruin of our enemies. Captain, this is the trait that comes from that Miracle Word D7. This was actually gifted to us by Prototype, supporter of us here, not only on YouTube, but also on Twitch. So shout out to you, Prototype. If you actually get to this portion of the video, comment below. We love you, sir. And thank you so much. Universal Designs. Was Rithing Barrage. And the trait that actually comes with the ship, Ship of the Line. Emergency power abilities grant 20% crit severity for 30 seconds. And then for our space reputation here, we got advanced targeting systems, enhanced shield pen, precision, magnified fire power, and Tyler's duality. And for active space reputation, nothing too different. Anti-time entanglement singularity. Biome like a shield gen. Quantum singularity manipulation. Refracting tetragon cascade. And tethered non-baryonic asteroid. So for our stations, left to right, top to bottom, this is what we did. We got chemocyte lace weaponry. Torpedo spread two. Emergency power to engines if we need it. Beam overload, and like we said earlier there, that overload linked quad cannons will treat it like a cannon rapid fire when we activate this. So we'll try to look for it, but we're gonna put that there just because. Back pattern beta, cannon scatter volley two, which should be, be good if this was commander level, but we only got 10 commander, but that's okay. Miracle worker station here, this is what we are using, destabilized warp core, because I love the visual of this. That's the only reason why we're using this. Mercy powder weapons, narrow sensor bands three, and mixed armament synergy three. And then for the Intel, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander, Vital Impulse, Tractor Beam, and then override subsystem safeties. Now for our dupes, this is what we have for our dupes. The two on ground helping us in space, so Neil Falconer, Increased damage versus the Berg. Elder Malikatan, space increased damage versus all. And this is what we did with our actual spaced offs. We have three energy weapons officer with two of them, giving us a chance to stack crit severity with our energy weapons and one, a chance to stack crit chance. We do have the projectile weapons officer here as well. 
to give us a chance to stack crit severity when we fire projectiles, because we have the one. Mercy Con for some maneuverability. Of course, it recharges the evasive maneuvers when we hit emergency power to engines. And then, of course, Lyrene. Space increased damage versus the Berg, because we are taking this into the Berg. Caps, that is the build. That is the ship. She looks mean. I love how this thing looks, to be honest with you. So what we're going to do now, of course, like I said, is take this into advance, cure, and see how it does. So what we're going to do is go left to right. We're going to take out the left station, left docking station there, get all the bops heading towards the Kang because we have to protect the Kang, go to the right side, take that out, take the middle out, and then finish off the actual mission and then at the end of course of that we will give our conclusion so here we go let's go do an advanced cure see how this does Oof! love the way that looks All right here we go out and of course Weapons hot, deflectors to pull. Hmm. yes for my immersion just I won't do that for my immersion that's it All right so we'll go to left first of course take that out take that out Take those out, holy jeez. Um, yeah, it's doing good. Take these out before they get to the Kang. Oof, those Maelstrom Torps. Wow. Not gonna lie, it's doing really good. And there goes the. Woo! That is nasty. That is so nasty. Take out these cute little neck bars trying to. And we didn't even have full use of our buff there. Dear Lord. Oof. I just love the look of those. Holy jeez. <laughs> this might be the fastest cure I have done. And I think we're ready to tell Kang here to go. I don't even think he got shot at. This definitely is living up to the toughest ship in Starfleet has ever made, in my opinion. Let's go buff up here. I... Wow! And I didn't even get... I. Did, I didn't even get to use my beam overload far. Speechless. This definitely, definitely lives up to that name. I'm loving this ship. We're gonna just park here quickly because we're gonna take some shelfies while we just oogle at this ship. Caps, there you go. That's how this ship did. I feel like it performed really well. In that and I think probably the best performing ship I've had here in a cure and wow that just it definitely did that it left the Boric in pieces so let's get that here let's warp out and then give our conclusion that's that's that is probably the quickest cure that we've done again that was advanced but still it's enough for our nightly previews and in a team going in elite We've been wrecking it, really, because we have been using this ship here for the last 
a couple of days since its release and this is the first ship that we wanted to take out but caps there you go that is how the inquiry did and wow i i can't google over this ship enough i highly highly recommend it and having an account unlock inquiry and even board board which we will do something on that too as well we'll have a little fun on that ship as well because we're finally happy to have a legendary board board even though it should have been released in the year of the klingon but it is what it is but with the avenger miracle worker battle cruiser probably one of my favorite ships and love how they gave us the deflector love how they actually use like star trek used the stow model to give this and when they gave it to us well this is this is the exact model they used on star trek picard season three so it's awesome to have this in game i'm happy for it i know some people are as well they've been having fun with theirs so 100 percent again just keep in mind captains we just do this for fun that is what we do here on the bridge and if that is a type of fun you like to have well we would love to have you here so consider subscribing to our youtube bridge of course hit that like button comment below let us know if you were able to get this or if you're planning to get this and if you did what you actually did with it here when it comes to your build here but loving the ship if you can't tell captains that this thing just performed really really well in canada so what we're gonna do is have some different fun we might just mix it up here just so that we can just keep enjoying the ship with maybe beams, maybe torpedoes, but definitely cannons. It works really, really well. With that said, Caps, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.